Today's lure comes from a coworker who has a 3D printer. He printed a couple of these square bills for me. I'm gonna have to bend the wire, put them together and paint them. I'll put a link to the design in the description. I'm gonna start off with this 19 gauge stainless steel wire. I think this will be the right size for the line hookup and the hook loops. After some rough measurements, I think I figured out I need about 16 millimeters. I'm going to use these special jewelry pliers to bend my loops. Using a marker, I'm going to mark where the next bend should be for the hook loop on the bottom. It being the first time bending this, it takes a little trial and error to get the bends right. I do a little test fit to make sure that the lure will go together properly when it's time to glue it together. I got some stainless steel buckshot BBs from a friend. I'm going to use these to add a little weight and add some rattle to the lure.
Next, I'm going to carefully superglue both halves together. I hope to be careful enough not to get any superglue where the buckshot rattles are. I'm going to clamp this together and let it sit for a couple hours. When I think it's dry, I'm going to go over it with some sandpaper to smooth over any rough edges. The lure does have some texture from the 3D printing, but I think I'm going to leave that as a little added character to the lure. With the lure smooth and clean, it's time to start painting. And I'm going to start with a base coat of opaque white. I taped off the bill of the lure and I'm putting on some opaque yellow. I'm going to use this mesh to create a scaly design on the lure. To add a little lighter scaling to the sides, I'm going to use green gold first, which is on the transparent side. I'm then going to use a darker sap green to go over the top of the lure. I'll then use the sap green again to go over the back and make it more solid. I'll then use Indian yellow, which is a more orangish yellow, and it'll blend up from the bottom. I'll then add some detail orange for the belly. I'm going to use this stencil and some opaque black to create the gill plate. I'll also use the opaque black to darken the eye sockets. It's now time to super glue and attach the eyes.
It's time to mix the two part epoxy clear coat. After applying the clear coat, the lure will spin for about 3 hours and then dry for 24 hours. This is the finished lure. You can see on this side where I was a bit aggressive with a lighter trying to pop the bubbles in the clear coat and it kind of scarred it a little bit, but it still adds a little bit of a cool, realistic look to it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.